Hi everyone, it's Taylor from Broadway Spotted. I'm here with Malik Panchuli from It's Only a Play, uh, now playing at the Bernard Jacobs Theater. And yeah, we're gonna ask him a few questions. Here we go. So, uh, what about Broadway appealed to you as an actor? Uh, I think I've always wanted to do a Broadway play. I mean, I feel like it was just kind of like the dream to, to do to do Broadway, and I never got a chance to do it. And I actually moved to New York in 2003, thinking I would just stay in New York and do theater, and I did a couple off-Broadway shows, and then TV work started coming in pretty quickly, so uh, so I haven't had the chance to really stay in town and do a play, and the timing worked out perfectly. So, um, what's it like making your Broadway debut with a star-studded cast? Uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I replaced uh, Rupert Grant in the show, so I got to see the show before um, before I, I jumped on board, and I gotta say, like, it was a little intimidating because the show is really good, I think, <laughs> and uh, and everyone um, working at such an, a very high level, like the acting is so great in the show. So there's a little bit of like, oh my gosh, what's this? What's this gonna be like? But it's been incredible. Everyone's been so nice. It feels like uh, working with a family. You know, we all we all uh, get along extremely well, and we talk to each other about the play. And it's been fantastic. Awesome. Uh, if uh, how does TV acting differ from stage acting? Uh, well, we don't do the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's kind of been great is we've had a process, you know, and, and every night with the, with the show, we get to learn something new, or I get to learn something new about like, my character in the play, or a moment will be different, or the way the audience is, um, is reacting to something will be different. It just informs you a lot, too. And because we're going until June, I have a lot of time, in a way, to really get to learn this character in this play. And, um, that's very different than TV, you know, where you're getting a new script every week and, um, you know, you, you film the moment and it's kind of over <laughs> and you hope you nailed it. And I, I, I've, I've been lucky because I've worked on TV shows that have lasted for a while, so I've gotten to have time with characters um, for years, actually. But I would say that that's probably the biggest difference is having sort of an extended rehearsal process and time to really live in, in the character. Do you have a specific preference over um, theater and TV, or would you say they're both kind of? Um, I like them both. I feel like they both offer like really different things, and both really gratifying things. You know, it's really it's really fun to see the final product of a TV show, and um, it's you know fun to get to do different takes and try something new with each take. Um, the theater, it's so immediate. You know, it's like you're out there with the audience, and it's it's exciting. Um, how it, you were also on Thirty Rock. Yeah. Uh, how would you say the comedy is different on Thirty Rock than it is in the show? Well, uh, well for one thing, we're, you know, you're with Thirty Rock, like the camera's kind of right here in your face, and so there's a lot of uh, room for subtlety in that show. I think, although very um, sort of it, the world is very larger than life, I think the acting is played pretty, pretty realistically. And, um, and although I think in this show, we're also playing very real people, you are playing to a thousand person house and things have to read for that last row to, to know what's happening and um, so yeah I would say that's pretty different. Um, the writing style I mean it's Terrence McNally and Tina Fey, like two very different writers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. um, if you could play any role on Broadway, what would it be? Uh, I I'll stick with this one for a while. Okay. I'm having a pretty good time right. a good time with this one. Yeah. Okay. And um, one more question is if you could spot one Broadway star on the streets, uh, who would it be? Oh my Why? gosh. Um, that's that's a tough question. I will say that I'm kind of waiting. Bradley Cooper's like right next door, and I haven't spotted him yet. Yeah. And I and I've heard that security backstage, like the chance to see him, is like so difficult. So if I could spot Bradley Cooper, I'd be pretty excited. I feel like there's a website where you can see like stars riding the subway, and there's pictures of him. So I'm like, why hasn't that happened yet yeah, yeah. for me? I don't know why that hasn't happened. Who knows? So that's it. Um, thank you for yeah, giving thanks us some for time. Having me. And, yeah.